2013 has arrived, and so too will a flurry of comets and solar flares over the next 12 months. But relax, Chicken Little, the sky isn't falling. Astronomers are simply giving notice for a once-in-a-lifetime event so that everyone can enjoy the celestial wonders. Our Paul E. points them out. Millions of stars dot the night sky, often from light that has traveled for millions of years from distant galaxies. But there is one kind of celestial body that has time and again caught our attention with its brilliant tails and colorful halos. Comets will be making a big return in 2013, with two scheduled to pass within the year. The first dazzling display of a giant hunk of ice and gas hurtling through space will begin on March 13th. The Pan-STARRS comet will be able to be seen on the western horizon in the northern hemisphere. Another stunning comet, dubbed ISON, will be making its appearance in November as it's likely to dive into the sun in a blaze of glory. There are two chances to observe comets this year, in March and December. The December comet in particular will have an overall brightness that is 15 times that of the full moon, so it's expected to be readily seen by the naked eye. Comet Ison is predicted to become the comet of the century. It has the potential to be many times brighter than the moon, making it even visible in broad daylight throughout the world. However, our own sun may be providing a different kind of light show this year. Solar storms are expected to peak sometime in the near future, unleashing waves of flares that could wreak havoc on the Earth's magnetosphere and cause damage to communication and electrical systems. For better or worse, humanity this year will be keeping their eyes on the sky.